Amen. Amen. You may be seated. As you heard this, I saw tears. These men are used to having knives in their backs and in their sides. And seldom do they get welcomes. Amen. From being warned even from governments to stay away from them. Men of deep persecution, men of deep trials that have gone the way of the cross, that know what the cross is. Amen. And so we welcome you and we want to bring healing to your lives and want to welcome you and treat you like kings because in God's kingdom, that's where you reign. Amen. We're going to start probably with the, the big lion over in the end. Come on. Okay. Amen. I'm going to warn the timekeeper. Now, just a minute here. Hey, yeah, man. This is the man that I have talked about. Yeah. That was the when the young boy came to him with no eyeballs in his sockets. Yeah. And while he was standing before God, the eyeballs started forming yeah. in Sri Lanka. He saw the miracle right in front of Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. These are men of God. Praise you, Lord. Put the clock to, you'll see it. Yes, and I they know. will get your attention to the distance when it's time for you to sit down. All right? Hallelujah. Praise okay. you, Lord. Father, Amen. we come in the name of Jesus. Not by might or by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Let us pray. Father, this is not a meeting of man. This is not a meeting of carnal carnality. And Father, we invite thy Holy Spirit, to come and move among us tonight. And as thy Holy Spirit moves among us, we pray, Lord, that conviction should come upon this whole community, upon this whole land, upon this whole nation, the nations of the earth. For God is awaiting for his people to be conformable to the death of his son, Jesus Christ. So that we may be risen in resurrection power to fulfill the purposes of God, to be as he is, 1 John 4, 17. To go about doing good, healing all oppressed of the devil in the name of Jesus. I have just 10 minutes. To say this is not David Griffiths on this platform. Through the processes of dying to self, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. The name above every name. I have a word from the Lord tonight. Not to talk about myself, but to talk about himself. What he has done through me, yet not me, but him. See, I'm receiving instruction from on high. He's saying, tell the people, I love them. Can you please stand? The Spirit is moving. He doesn't want you to talk to me about me and coming from Wales and all of that and all the battlegrounds we've been through and all. He's, he's saying, lead the people to the Savior. Will you respond to this Savior? Will you come? 
come forth to respond to the Saviour tonight. Please come forth to the front. I want to pray over this conference tonight. Please come forth. All those who have given their lives to Jesus Christ, who are saying, more Lord. See, the Lord is doing things the other way around. He's calling a call to the front to bring the people to respond to the Savior, to be conformable to his death. Please come forth. There is a mighty move of the Spirit of God in this place tonight. Not to talk about me, not to talk about anything else except the Savior. He is healing wounds tonight. We've all been through great battlegrounds. We have all been rejected. But the stone which the builders reject becomes the headstone of the corner. Those who have come to Jesus and given all of their lives to him become the headstone of the corner. And the Lord is saying, arise, arise, go forth this night, receive of my spirit. Hallelujah. Can we lift up our hands unto the Lord? Can we lift up our hands unto the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, I give all of my life to you. I say, Lord Jesus, not one drop do I leave me, leave in myself. I give my whole lives to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I am he that liveth, saith the Lord. Go ye therefore, go to the nations, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I have called you, saith the Lord, to reach the nations. Go ye therefore, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a missions call tonight. Hallelujah. This is a missions call tonight. Will you go forth to the whole world preaching the gospel? This is the cry. This is the cry of the Lord tonight. Let us not talk about ourselves. Let us talk about him. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Let's give our whole lives to him. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our hands unto the Lord. Let's lift up our hands up to the Lord. Let's lift up our hands up to the Lord. I give you all all of my life, Lord Jesus, all of my life, I consecrate myself unto you, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise. We give him the preeminence tonight. By him were all things created. Hear this, by him, and he was before all things. We talk of Jesus the Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The anointing of God. Let's lift up our hands, hallelujah. Praise him. I will do that, Lord. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. The stones which the builders reject have become the headstone of the corner. Hallelujah. The stones which the builders reject have become the headstone of the corner. Hallelujah. If you have been rejected tonight, you lift up your hands unto the Lord, for he is giving you the power to go about doing good, healing all oppressed of the devil. Hallelujah. Revival is here, saith the Lord. What is revival? Revival is the death of ourselves. Revival is being conformable to his death and to those who have died. He raises up in resurrection glory. And Father, I pray the resurrection glory tonight on all those who have died. On all those who have died. I raise you from the dead in the mighty name of Jesus. I bring revival tonight. I raise you from the dead for those who are brought conformable to his death. He rises you up in resurrection glory. You know, the word of God declares, Brother Wade, Brother Wade, the word of God, greater things shall follow those who believe. Greater things than we stand together tonight in the name of Jesus. And we receive the greater things tonight. Hey, listen to this. Brother Wade, 
You know where the Bible says, greater things will follow. That means greater miracles than Jesus Christ achieved on this earth. You know why? In his earthly ministry, he was operating under the law. We today have been risen together with him to the heavenly places in Christ Jesus for the work of the cross is complete. It is finished, he cried. And we have been risen together with him. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We have been risen together with him to the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so we may go forth in the power of his resurrection that in our very shadows men and women be healed. Now let me tell you this. God loves the Amish people and he respects the sacrifice over the years in Ohio, in this state, and in this county. He loves the Mennonite people. He sends his son for them. But today, he is sending of his spirit. He is sending of his spirit. As Jesus went to John the Baptist, and John the Baptist said, what am I baptizing you for? It was preparation for his ministry. That the baptism in the Holy Ghost, as the Holy Spirit fell upon him, upon Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God is falling upon us tonight as empowerment for ministry. And those of you who have come forth, saith the Lord, I empower you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to minister the gospel to this community, to this state, to this nation, to the furthermost points of the earth. Can you receive this tonight? Can you receive of his birth tongues of fire, saith the Lord, as on the day of Pentecost, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come forth, this lady here, with the please come forth. Yes, please come forth. Please hold my hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray this lady be healed of every infirmity, of every negative word spoken against her. I pray, Father, that she represents all those tonight who have gone through times of trial, who have gone through times of persecution, who have been rejected. Yes, Lord, I'll do that. I will do this. I pray for this lady in the name of Jesus. Not in my name, but in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke the false prophets tonight. I rebuke the Jezebel tonight in the name of Jesus. And I set this church free from every infiltration of every false prophet, of every Jezebel. You get out of this place because I'm telling you there was only one minister allowed in this church tonight. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Holy Ghost, this is the Holy Ghost. Receive this now in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. The anointing is here. The, now listen this. In Brother Wayne's book, there are warnings. Where the Holy Ghost comes, there are those who will look to try and steal the anointing. This happened in Wales. Evan Roberts was taken out of the Welsh revival by a woman masquerading as Jezebel to teach him, to minister to him. Let me tell you this. Let no man minister to you. Let no woman minister to you. Minister to you. Only by the Spirit of God. Are you hearing me tonight? Let no infiltration come and take this revival for God has found a broken people. 
and he will build us up to move in resurrection power. Brother Wayne, they will tell the people they're not ready to go out and minister. I tell you, if you are born again, saved by the Spirit of God, you can go forth with this word, with no other ministry, because the word declares it is finished, saith the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. You are welcome to find your seats.